Hell Ho. <laughs> Such an awesome name for a fucking horror movie, dude. I love it. It's directed by Bartosz Kowalski and is currently streaming on Netflix. Now, this one came out a little while back, but I was recommended it and heard good things about it, so I checked it out, and I gotta say, it's an underrated horror flick that kind of went under my radar, at least. And I mean, let's be real, though. At least in my opinion, not many good horror flicks come from Netflix. They do make some decent horror TV series, though. I'll say that for sure, but this movie, Hell Hole, definitely makes this an exception to the uh, rule for sure, though. Now, this one's about a dude named Mark, who's part of a militia, has been given the job to infiltrate this monastery that's doing some pretty shady stuff behind the scenes. See, a nearby town is missing some people, and they believe that these people have them. So, he gets inside this place, and, dude, it's a nasty spot. I mean, it just looks all dirty and unkempt. No electricity or phones. The food they serve is hella nasty looking. Literally looks like dead bird parts or something inside, or just some dead animal, dude. It's fucking disgusting, man. And while he's there, he's told that they perform exorcisms and invite him to witness one. He does, and it's one of the people they actually kidnapped that they perform it on. Afterwards, once the, everyone's asleep and whatnot, Mark creeps around the he creeps around the place to find evidence on how shady these dudes really are. But he's got to be careful because he doesn't want to become a victim himself. Like I said before, I definitely enjoyed this one. And dude, the thing about it, this movie is like an hour and a half, and it goes by quick, dude. I mean, like real quick. It's an easy short story with some pretty nasty bloody parts and a very dark ending, dude. The ending, dude, whoo, awesome. Chef's kiss for sure, dude. This movie's all about the ending, though. I mean, I really enjoyed the music, too, because it's, like, booming and loud and gets your, gets your attention. I mean, think how powerful something like um, the Hellraiser thing, right? How you get that, you know, that feeling, get those goosebumps. That's kind of like this movie, too. I'm not saying it's as good, but I'm just saying it's, it's real powerful, though, and strong. And the look of the movie was like dark and rustic colored and whatnot, and the atmosphere just felt uncomfortable. And you knew something was going on, dude. You could tell this shit was shady. Especially when shit gets revealed, dude. You're just like, God damn. This is some dark shit. <laughs> and uh, actually, it's a learning lesson, too, because you got to be careful what you wish for, because you may get exactly what you wish for, and may not like it because it didn't go the way you'd hope for. Some shit could be faked. But also, some shit could be really real, and it's your ass. <laughs> I definitely recommend this one, though. It's a quick and entertaining watch with an ending that true horror fans, I think, will really enjoy. I already recommended some Exorcist you know, type movies anyhow, so I'm not going to... I'm going to skip recommend recommendations today. So, yeah, that's all for today, folks. Stay nasty, my friends, and I will see you at the next one. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and, like subscribe. and subscribe.